The mission is on. Okay, it's on. Yeah. I said that. Okay. So are you still with me? Okay. Why is Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday a holiday? It's a holiday because President Ronald Reagan made it a holiday in 1988. I'm reading the Reagan Diaries right now, the unabridged version. Yes. First Martin Luther King Day, 1988, signed into effect by a Republican president. George Bush Jr. George Bush Jr. appointed the first black Secretary of State, the first black woman Secretary of State. And he's been called a racist more times than anybody. He might not be able to read real good, but is he a racist? Condoleezza Rice doesn't think so. Now this is all in the past, right? You know, Democrats and Republicans and racists. This is all in the past, really. How about Herman Cain? I have seen documentaries of the Ku Klux Klan. I have seen documentaries of the Nazis. I have seen documentation of Adolf Hitler's speeches translated into English so I can understand it. The most racist things I have ever heard of in my entire life, things that I didn't even think were allowed on television, things that made me ashamed, ashamed, made me want to vomit, were said by liberals about Herman Cain. Liberals called Herman Cain every single solitary racial slur in the English language, no questions asked. Literally, words that I will not even lower myself to say on this channel. Herman Cain is a very educated black man. He grew up in the deep south, segregated drinking fountains, poor, went to college, became a mathematician for the Navy, worked as a civilian scientist on ballistic missiles, became the head of a couple of banks, took several companies that were on the brink of bankruptcy and brought them back to prosperity. Herman Cain might not make a good president, but he'll sure as hell make a good secretary of the treasury. Every single solitary racial story that I've heard was said about Herman Cain by liberals. In fact, I found out new racial terms when he came around. I heard liberals call him new things. I'm like, I didn't hear that before. Wow. They may watch the O'Reilly Factor. Last Monday before I filmed this, the day I'm filming this is January 22nd. Oh, I got my driver's license on January 22nd, 1999. So I've been driving for 10, 11, 12. I've been driving for 13 years with a license today. Bill O'Reilly had on the, via satellite the head of the South Carolina Democratic Party. The South Carolina Democratic Party, remember what I talked about a few minutes ago about liberals and Martin Luther King Day? He said, you know, the Republicans should not be doing the debate on Martin Luther King Day. You know, they should be a little, you know, it's not, it's a very sensitive topic, Martin Luther King, liberals, Martin Luther King, Republicans and racism. First of all, learn how to read a history book. Second, everything I just said, everything I just said in this guy's face. Now, Bill O'Reilly reminded him that the Democrats in 2008 had a debate on Martin Luther King's birthday. Well, according to this guy, this hypocrite, that's okay because, well, blah, 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 something about minority neighborhoods, blah, 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 he couldn't answer the question. So, Democrats have a debate on Martin Luther King Day. Totally okay with you. Republicans do, it's wrong. All the stuff I just said, now I'm saying to him. In addition to that, I follow the Republican candidates on Facebook. I went on all their Facebook pages, all their Facebook fan pages. They all recognize Martin Luther King. Perry, Gingrich, Santorum, I think Romney and Paul. I don't really follow them, but the Republican candidates that I looked at recognize Dr. King by name. Now, once again, Democrats, the liberals, they wrap themselves in Dr. King. They wrap themselves in the civil rights movement. They fall to their knees and cry about how great he was. Well, would Dr. King have approved of he who must not be named being friends with Bill Ayers, an unrepentant terrorist who bombed the Pentagon? Would Dr. King approve of he who must not be named attending a Black Panther rally, I think it was 2007, 2008? 
where Dr. King approved of every single solitary racial slur in the book being used by liberals at Herman Cain? Would Dr. King approve any of this? Did Dr. King ever say, I have a dream when my fellow Americans will call anyone that disagrees with them a racist? Did Dr. King say, I have a dream where I will live in a nation where a college educated black man will be called every racial slur in the English language? I just listened to his, um, I have a dream speech a few minutes ago before doing this video. I need inspiration. Now, look at the two, look at the party's history. If you were Dr. King, which party would you rather have represent you? Now, who are some famous black Republicans? We already talked about Frederick Douglass, Harry, Harry Tubman, Jackie Robinson, Denzel Washington, Herman Cain, Condoleezza Rice, I think Joe Lewis Clark, principal from uh, New Jersey, Dr. King himself. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was a Republican, ladies and gentlemen. And now you know American history. Deal with it.